Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and fine and all is like brightening it up for you and you're finding your inner center a little bit more than before and you are not feeling so alone when your darkness comes in, when that the darker version of you shows up and starts to make you fear the future and bring in the past memories of pain to relive them over and over and over again. And, and as painful, I hope these are lighter on your body. It feels less intense as you sit with yourself and with your feelings and, and you come to terms with it's okay that there are days, moments, hours, minutes, seconds that I will not feel so good. And that's okay for me to feel that way. Like I hope that you've brought light to your shadow and that you are more aware of the pains within you, not needing to know where they came from, why I have them and all the questions that the mental mind really wants to know, but more of just being available to them and not putting yourself down for feeling bad, feeling sad, feeling depressed, feeling lonely and feeling all those things and just celebrating that you can actually feel them and not punish yourself for feeling them. So I have an announcement to make. Finally, 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 it is happening. It is happening and it's going to be amazing. It's called Awaken to Your True Self. I've done this workshop before in person and I would love to invite you to awaken to your true self, which is basically discovering who you really are, right? Unlocking the magic within you, allowing yourself to find that peace that you really desire and you're working so hard, whether you've been on this path forever and you're like, you've read all the books, you've watched all the YouTubes, you've tried every technique here and there. Honestly, this program I'm offering is a delight because in itself due to the transmissions that come through right the information that i have um you're going to shift and change while we're live online it's just going to naturally happen a lot of times tools and techniques will show up and then we'll do some some of the many tools and techniques i have and i'll be told this is the one for the group this week um we're going to release all uh as many limiting beliefs as possible for you, hopefully all of them in time, because it's in four week slots. I'll talk about that in a bit. And it's to release the blocks inside to help subside and relax that, that negative mantra that maybe you're not even aware you have just because it's part of who you think you are. And it's building that awareness of seeing them and then being able to release them being able to bring light into them, being able to have them around. There's going to be a lot of inner child work and there's going to be uh, uh, like little five minute meditations at some point and, and a lot of NLP, a lot of neuro-linguistic programming, which is reprogramming and wiring your, your, your thoughts, your beliefs, your old identities, because I know we're all sick and tired of being in our old identities. I know this because through my clients and other workshops, people are sick and tired of being sick and tired of who they were and oh, and like having to stick by who they always were. Like it's a badge of honor when it's really a badge of pain. And it's kind of like freeing up space within you to breathe a little, to, to, to feel more centered, to know that you are loved and to be able to open your heart to, to allow unconditional love in. And to know how to love yourself. There's a lot of self-love in this program. It's a wonderful program. I've noticed that a lot of times when I do hold these online workshops uh, or in-person workshops, people want to continue. But then because in my head, I'm like, okay, this is four weeks long or this is 12 weeks long. I always end up adding two extra bonus weeks just because I feel that we're in, a, in an energetic um, cycle. It's just everyone's feeling better, everyone's getting to know themselves more, everyone's finding their voice and, and, and feeling more cleared inside and everyone's getting the information that they need. Even though it could be like 20 people, 30 people, 10 people, 
whatever. People are getting the information that they need from whatever is being transmitted and whatever tools, techniques that I use and, and, and we work through together. There will be a Q&A like at the last 10 minutes um, and shares. Um, I may add one, uh, like a fifth week, every four weeks. The fifth week is just live questions and answers to have. I'm still working on that. Um, and it'll show, I'll, I'll know more once we start our Awaken to Your True Self. At the same time, I did it because everybody would want more and more and the energy would be so profound and magical and like people's lives are changing. Um, and when, when it stops, um, it's like, I know that there's more to be done and, and more to experience and to grow and to feel. So I was, I, 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 I heard within me to let it be for four week slots, right? So there's four weeks, these first four weeks, um, there's a price for the first four weeks. And I've like discounted like insane, insanely for four weeks. Each one is an hour and a half long. Uh, for the four weeks, you get a very special early bird rate. I mean, really, really special. Okay. And then there's a week off. And then if you want to continue for the, another slot of four weeks, you can continue the next four weeks. If you locked in for the first four weeks, if you locked in the early bird rate the price, then the magical thing is when you've locked that in and you've get, gotten that price, not the one that goes up in 10 days, that means that you can use that same rate for the next four weeks and the next four weeks and for the next four weeks and however long this is going to go on for, right? And maybe at some point there'll even be a special. If you've taken like four weeks in a row, then the price, like you get a discount. So working on all that, all that is going to show up. I don't like to go ahead of where I'm at, but I want you to know, okay, that there will be light. So I wrote the title, let there be light, because now the light will ascend and come down and we will just, it, it'll just be, look, honestly, it's going to be wonderful. And it's always been wonderful. I feel euphoric. Everyone else feels euphoric. Things are detangled and untangled. And there's this lightness within you that you feel. There's a, um, there's a bit more joy, a sense of joy and a sense of peace that takes over. And you'll understand how to break down the program, how to release that program, how to start seeing through the eyes of, of your soul rather than through the program. Um, so I'm leaving the link in the comments and then I'm going to post another post with the beautiful flyer and the link. Go check it out, register, get the early bird rate. I really, really, really would love for us to go ahead with this. It starts November 22nd. Now look at the number. 2211. Amazing, right? And I didn't even know because I was going to do it on a Wednesday anyway. So I didn't even know that that Wednesday that I was planning was 22nd. But I kept hearing, do it on the Wednesday, November, the Wednesday, the, you know, and I kept saying three weeks from now when I was like planning the date. And I looked at the calendar. I'm like, oh my God, it's 2211. Amazing. So it's divinely planned. This is going to be spectacular. Register, register, register. You're going to love it. You're going to, you're going to feel so blessed and, um, you're going to meet a wonderful community of people because only those of the light want to join, right? Only those who have been seeking it and, and trying their best to like hear their intuition even better and align themselves and all this stuff that are going to join. So you're going to meet a lot of people that are so similar to you and, and have, <coughs> the same value system. Anyway, another thing is I had my first workshop in my new atelier, the space, I'm calling it the space, because it's the space, right? And it's finding space within you. And it was wonderful and amazing. And I'm carrying this out every Wednesday in person um, because the, um, the atelier that I decorated and designed is just in itself and the energies I poured into it and asking divinity to like send the highest realms of light beings to be present during those meditations. They're delightful. And what happens while I'm meditating is I, I don't have a pre-plan. So I just close my eyes and I let, and I let divinity guide the meditation. I just let divinity speak through me and guide whatever needs to be guided. And it's so much fun. It's fun for me. 
and it's fun for everybody who's there. So if you are living close by, I'm in Montreal, in Longueuil, um, please join in person. You're really, really going to love it. Um, and that's every Sunday from 6 to 6.55. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to add more light onto the planet. We are gathering now. So what I know for sure, oh, I'm getting the goosebumps. What I know for sure is at some point in our lives, a, a large part of our lives, we've spent alone with ourselves going through the spiritual awakening, trying to awaken ourselves on our own. And people, like we start losing family members and friends and people just start disappearing out of our lives, right? And, and the loneliness takes over, which is the deep, deep root of the fear, right? The abandonment and loneliness, which a lot of people have, right? And that starts to feel like you're actually facing your worst fear. You're facing your biggest fear in the world, right? And as you're facing that, as your spiritual awakening, you're healing that wound. You're healing it ancestrally. You're healing it within yourself. You're healing it from your timeline. And you're releasing yourself from the fear of being alone and abandoned, right? Because it's happening. It's actually happening. But it's happening for your highest and best good. So this went on for years and years and years. And people have been alone. And everyone's like, well, I can't find people like me. I can't resonate with people like me. I can't find them anywhere. I can't find my soul tribe, my family members. I can't find the people that I get along with, right? And so, <clears throat> thanks, Shiraz. Thank you for the hearts. I love the hearts. Um, I love you. So a lot of times we've been all alone in this journey. And especially when you're first awakening, you really feel really alone because all of a sudden, who you were is something so different than, than who you're about to become. You're in the process of letting go of an old identity, whatever that was, right? Whatever the checklist was of who you thought you had to be according to the world around you, others around you and the people. And so you're letting that go. You're saying bye to that, but you don't really want to. It's happening anyway. And so you're trying to hold on, but you don't feel the same. You're not as entertained. You don't enjoy the same things. Even the people, you don't enjoy them half as much. You've got other things you're interested in, but you can't seem to interact with your environment with this new you that's awakening and so the journey is lonely at the beginning but it's only for you to become best friends with you for you to figure out that you've left yourself behind all along that you're the one that is like your own best friend like it's like waking you up to wait connect with source connect with divinity connect with that which is larger than you your creator connect back to your soul right understand why you're here try to remember who you are and you start to go through all that on your own now things are shifting because a lot of people have gone through the spiritual awakening and who are still lingering in this loneliness and abandoned and they don't feel that they can find anyone and yet we are now finding each other why because we have to level up completely different but collectively now so we're still going to be working on our own and doing our own purging, but then we're going to gather and collectively pour that energy. So when I do those live workshops online, or I do the meditations here in person, or the meditations at the center in person, it's gathering the light workers, it's gathering the empaths, it's gathering the sensitives, it's gathering humanity to a place like a like a bowl, like a like an area of energy to allow everyone's light to accelerate right so it's as if there's a beam of light coming out of wherever it is so if we're doing it online can you imagine that from all over the world different people were all emanating the light can you imagine how much you will receive right how much i will receive you will receive this energy dome that we're building this vibration okay so you're not going to be alone anymore so we are being called not to really be alone anymore right Yes, you work on yourself. Yes, you love yourself. Yes, you speak your, to, to your divinity. Yes, you connect the way you connect. And yet you can do it collectively where everyone respects everyone's identity, everyone's newfound personality, everyone's path, whether they're still healing the wound or they've gotten rid of this, but now they're healing this. It doesn't matter. It's like there's a kind of a respect for everyone and how they're healing. But now we can collectively be together because we've established that we're all individual, yet we're all connected. Individually means I do me, I work through me, 
right? If somebody triggers me, it's not them, it's my trigger, right? So this is individual. And collectively meaning I respect that everyone's going through their own thing at whatever level or timeline or whatever they're going through, but we're all at the end result, we're all heading to feel better, to bring in joy, to have the ability to hear and tr trust our intuition, to truly be able to trust ourselves, right? To notice the difference between my thoughts and do I believe them and do I run with them or do I stick by my side? My side, not my thoughts side, right? I cater to my feelings. So there's going to be a lot of self-love and understanding what self-love truly means because self-love is not the way it's been presented in the world, right? It's been very weird the way it's been presented and people have been like, yeah, I've done all this, but I come back to me, right? And like, yeah, because it's been an external self-love. It's not real self-love. So I'll be explaining a lot about self-love. Anyway, I'm really excited. You can tell I'm like, whoa, and my energy is like all over the place, uh, which is really great. And um, I'll leave you the link. Take a look at it. Tell me what you think and just register. Just jump in. Just jump in. Like your mind will tell you things like, oh, I don't know. Maybe this isn't it. Da -da -da -da. I don't have the money. I don't have the this. Ignore all that and try it. It's just four weeks. Try it out. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. You have you to gain because then you're not locked in for six months. It's just four weeks, right? And then you can choose. Hey, I love this. It sings to me or it doesn't sing to me. I'm going into the next four weeks and the next four weeks and it's up to you. So that's the cool part about it. You've got the freedom, the freedom to choose, right? Because what I would hate is being in a, in a workshop for like eight months. Be like, oh man, I like don't want to continue this anymore after like two, three months. And, and sometimes I'm like loving it and I'm, I even want more than eight months. So it's very personal. It's up to you. So I'll leave you the link. Let there be light. So this is the mantra. Let there be light within me, around me, and outside of me. Let there be light. And bring the light in. Just let there be light. Let's say you've got a problem. You've got something that is bothering you. Your thoughts are kind of about to hijack you. Let there be light. Divine creator of all, let there be light and bring the light in. Okay? That's a cool mantra. I didn't, when I wrote the title, I was like, that's an interesting title, but now I understand why. It's for us to start using it. Let there be light. And let's gather collectively together and start emanating really intense beautiful energy that will just twinkle everywhere else, right? It's like a ball and you fill it up and it's all energized and then you let it go and it just sprinkles all over the world in hopes that we, as we gather together, work through our own wounds, work through ourselves, find our intuition, our inspiration, yeah. our trust in ourselves, that will just naturally be everywhere. We'll go everywhere, right? And it will I have this feeling that it'll just penetrate all over the world. It's like an energy bucket bubble and it'll just go through people like the, the people who are attached to their fear and rage and anger and all this, it'll just calm the world down. So the more we gather, the better it is. I love you all dearly. Take care of yourselves. Look at the link. The link will take you into a more description, a, a, a lot more descriptions um, of what it's taking place. Hit the sign me up, get on board, and I am so excited. November 22nd, 11, 2211, we are starting. So give me a thumbs up, a heart, a hug. Leave your comments at the bottom. I love you all so, 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 so much, you amazing light beings on the planet. Take care. Bye.